Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Today is April 20th, and I've got a pepper powder review for you. From Pepper North Artisan Foods in Ontario, Canada, this is their Reaper Madness. Now this is just pure Carolina Reaper pepper powder. They give this a 10 out of 10 on their heat scale. Um, there's really, yeah, there's no point in reading the ingredients out. I guess I, I just did. Um, I like the uh, the reaper with the scythe with the, well, it's a skeleton with the reaper scythe with the Carolina Reaper on it. That's a pretty awesome logo. I really like that. They, uh, Pepper North will include st stickers of that sometimes with their orders. Um, sometimes if you even make enough orders from them, they'll send you a hoodie, maybe. I think they might even sell them. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I should have asked them this, but... Um, I thought it was appropriate to wear this hoodie for this review, even though it's sunny out. It's going to get warmer here. Actually, it's already kind of warm, and I'm a sleeveless guy anyway. So I want to get this review out of the way in the morning. So let's get this thing unwrapped. Um, the first thing that you'll notice when you unwrap one of these is that the label is actually on the outside of the shrink wrap. Um, if you peel it off really carefully, sometimes you can save it without ripping it. Um, this one here came off a little bit in shipping, so one side of it has a little bit of lint or something in it, which is fine. Um, yeah, I kind of wish that they would stick these on before they sealed them up, because it looks way more presentable with a nice, nice sticker on there, right? I'm just reapplying the sticker now. It probably won't stick for very long, but I will run some packing tape around it to hold it on there, and then it will be as good as new. So there we go. Opened up. Oh, Maggie's going to the shade. So let's open this up. I'm going to give it a little smell, but you got to, oh yeah, you want to be careful when you smell that, because you can see on the top. Oh yeah, that just smells like reaper powder weird. I don't know why that would be. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my spot here. Oh, okay, Maggie wants to hang out first. Good girl, Maggie. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, she's, I don't know if you, you could probably see her laying in the grass there. She was kind of in the shade before even. She's all wet because uh, I was just watering the lawn here not too long ago, actually. Lawn's starting to come back now. It's warming up. Um, there's definitely greener lawns around, but we're getting there. Oh, hi, Maggie. I'm getting warm already. Yeah, it's getting warm out here. It'll be a beautiful day. Actually, it is a beautiful day already. Hey, Maggie. Yeah, what a good girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What a good girl, hey? Here you go, Maggie. This is from Charlie Mullins. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Charlie. You get an on-camera belly rub. For Maggie. Yeah. She adores you. I do this often. Yes. Open the other paw. Okay, and this is from Debbie Bartram. Looks like Debbie sends a lot of love to Maggie and my sweetheart as well, and all of us here. So, much love right back at you, Charlie and Debbie and James J and Rhett Grizzly Heat Griffin. Just got off the phone with a quick phone call with Grizz, actually. What a great guy. He just, just uh, reaching out to me to uh, brighten my day. Um, he said he's going to send me something. I don't know what it is. It doesn't even matter really what it is. It's just the fact that he's sending me something. That's super cool. What a nice guy. Just send me a message, ask him for my address so he can send me something. What a great guy. Love you, Grizz. You're a great guy. Maggie loves you too. This is from this is from Grizz, Maggie. This is from Rhett. Yes. Oh, somebody must be walking by. She's doing a little growl. Okay. Good girl, Maggie. Okay. Now, I gotta get this done because it's getting warm. Use it, of 
course, use my Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat, Mother of Pearl tasting spoon. It's not just for hot sauces. You can use it for ice cream, for powders. You can use it for anything. Anything you want to use a spoon for. It's a relatively small spoon, so it'll slow you down when you're eating. Whether, whether you look at that as a good thing or a bad thing. Now, let's get this lid off. And I'm actually going to open... I think this opens right up. There we go. Let's just get in there. Give you a close up. Can we get a close up of that? Kind of, yeah. Again, it's hard to see here because of the glare. Oh, and there's the shadow from the camera. Yeah, it looks like you can see what that is. So, from Pepper North, this Artisan Foods in Ontario, Canada, this is their Reaper Madness Carolina Reaper Powder. Keep my shorts. Reaper flavor. Mm. You really gotta like Reaper. And I do. It's got a floral, yeah, sweet and smoky flavor to it. It's spicy. This is the Guinness Book of World Records. Um, hottest pepper in the world. There are hotter peppers out there. Ask almost any chili head out there and they'll confirm a lot of times from personal experience um, I ate a chocolate bootlaws last year I grew a plant and I probably ate I don't know didn't get very many off of it probably got maybe 10 peppers and I ate them they were definitely hotter than reapers they're smaller mine were anyway smaller than reapers but they're hot these this is hot um, on my heat scale, mm, five or six out of ten, not a seven. Um, mostly tongue sting, a little bit of throat sting, but mostly right on the tip of my tongue. That lingering, smoky sweetness of the pepper, and the lingering heat. Um, it's not building anymore. You can probably see I got a sweaty, sweaty forehead from the sun and from the pepper. Let's get another little taste in here. Mmm. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box down below for Pepper North Artisan Foods. It's where you can pick up this pepper from. It's a great pepper powder. This was my first pepper powder, actually, that I really got into in my ch uh, heat chasing journey, we'll call it. I'm just step stepping out of the frame to put the lid back on this thing, so in case the wind kicks up or something. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's get another little, another little taster in me. Yummy. I'm definitely feeling a little bit in my, um, in my throat, down into my chest, right to where, right to where the reaper is actually. A little bit of a burn, not much. Let's see if we can kick it up a little bit more. Keep my shorts. Hmm. This is honestly so good. I grew reapers last year too. I grew everything I could think of. Well, everything I could get a hold of seeds for, I suppose. Um, so this is the last video in the Pepper North lineup. We've now gone through all of their products. Um, six sauces, one honey, and one powder pretty awesome and they're all excellent the heat range is accurate um, for somebody that's getting into this stuff yeah for a non chili head 
So if it's something that's getting, just getting into this, that'd absolutely be a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't think I've climbed past 6. I'm not at a 7. The throat burn has increased a little bit, I would say. Not a lot. But it's good. Very good stuff. Um, I want to thank Pepper North, um, Drew and Anna. Great people. Um, haven't actually ordered a Pepper North order for a little while now. Kind of running low on some of their sauces. Um, that's actually why I didn't bring the sauces out for the lineup. Because we don't even have a spare Memento de Marte right now. We just opened up our last one. So, didn't want to bring out an incomplete collection. I just set up the paddleboard with all the stickers instead. So, anyways, um, other than that, not too much going on. Enjoy your day today. If you have the day off today, take it easy. Um, yeah, tell someone you love them. And um, enjoy the sunshine if it's out. And uh, have a great day. This has been another episode of Heat My Shorts. Head over to peppernorth.com and get some products from them. If you spend, um, I think it's over $50 on an order and you live in Canada, they will ship it to you for free. That's pretty awesome for sure. I absolutely love that. I mean, they send you cool stuff. Nice little notes, stickers, coasters. Good stuff. Great people. Canadian owned. And uh, grow Canadian grown peppers as well. So anyways, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been another episode of Heat My Shorts. Kick the tripod. Love you all. Bye-bye.